I mean, if you're going to pray, don't you think you ought to have effective prayers? Brother James said in chapter number 5 that the effectual, fervent prayers of a righteous man availeth much. Amen. Oh, maybe so, and said about us. Satan's chief concern, I believe, today is to keep Christians like you and me from praying. God help us to pray for our country. We need to live righteous lives. 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 2, the end of the verse says, And we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. Friend, if we want to change the direction of America, we, God's people, need to live our lives in godliness and honesty. How do we do that? I think we do that by living according to the standards of God's holy book. I said of the standards of God's holy words. Do you realize today that the very framework of our nation's laws and our nation's government are patterned after the holy word of God? The very fact that we have three branches of government, the executive, the legislative, and the judicial, all come from the word of God and from the basic patterns of the Bible. This concept was seen very clearly in the early portions of the Scripture, and we can see it done today. The Scripture says in Isaiah 33 and verse number 22, For the Lord is our judge, the Lord is our lawgiver, and the Lord is our king. He will save us. Right there you see all three branches of government. Amen? I mean, it's amazing and wonderful. He's judge. He's the judicial area. He's the lawgiver, the legislative, and he's the king. That's the executive branch. And friend, that's how our nation was founded. Our people, our founders read it in the Bible. 